this is the docker image that I created and uh, as you can see here I'm running in flask web app and I also created an API using this flask web uh, framework you can either use uh, API to uh, do the uh, machine lear deep learning or machine learning or you can directly use simple website so actually uh, this uh, I have used a kubernetes engine to run uh, this container uh, on the AWS cloud I use minikube kubernetes cluster and if you can see here I can show you my pods I'm running this uh, web app using five pods and uh, using a deployment actually yeah as you can see here five pods are, run are running up and running uh, I, I, I also use uh, a service to expose these pods to the public world and you can see that also yeah here you can see my service is the name of my service and I'm exposing it to the public world now uh, actually I, I have not shown my IP address here I used a DNS uh, to not expose my server publicly so this uh, DNS behind the scene is just using the IP address of this instance so they just predict something uh, let's just give some random values here let's see what, we, what is the result yeah as you can see the result has came here and the patient is diabetes positive okay yeah this is a web app is running now also uh, let's just uh, test the API real quick using postman uh, let's again give some random values Just predict. Something. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, according to these uh, values, the result has came negative. The patient is diabetes negative. So uh, actually, this was the web app that I was running. Now I have also created a, uh, a Flutter mobile application to use this uh, uh, machine learning. I have integrated both using mobile app. So if you can see here, this is my web app, uh, mobile app. Sorry. Yeah, let's just give again some random values here. And yeah, let's pay the 412 and let's give age 56. And just uh, let's just predict this. Uh, let's just predict. Yeah, the result has came and the, it says patient is diabetes positive. Yeah, and I also created a settings icon here, and uh, for, by this setting icon, you can change your uh, IP address or host name if you want to use this app, and you wanna launch your own instance, you can use that also. So yeah, I think this is it. This was the practical demo of my project. Hope you have liked it. Thanks for watching.